we have said, and we will say again many times, if any one of you truly believes that you may heal the planet with just a thought, then indeed you would heal your planet with just a thought. Each of you has great capabilities. We encourage you to honor them with belief and acceptance. We encourage you to say, if I am capable of healing the planet with a thought, then I am capable of anything I put my mind and full faith to. Therefore, what is my path to healing and bringing goodness? So we encourage you to explore. We encourage you to release your doubt of self. We encourage you to open up and accept goodness into you. And we encourage you to work with the energy of your planet. The grids, the mandalas, the networks, all of these are powerful, powerful resources. The more you connect with them, the more you can impact what's happening in the 3D physical level. If you make grids of love that surround your planet and they blast love energy to your planet, then your planet will be feeling more love. And as all aggression comes from insecurity, anxiety, depression, from very negative love lacking places to have love flowing upon people will always have an effect. We encourage you, there are many grids and networks already in existence, connect with them, explore them, see which networks are comfortable for you to work with so that you may have the effect that you are looking for with the earth mandalas that especially the ones that you will start finding that connect out to those who are trying to help you, like us. Does this make sense to you? Do we have questions? Yes. Um, how would we choose which network to connect with? This is an excellent or how would question. we? There are many humans on your planet who already work with networks and mandalas. Explore them. Feel the difference between this one and that one. Feel how the energy flows. Feel, see if they have different colors, radiances, speed and velocity of movement work with the mandalas, you may find a mandala will call to you. So explore the networks, explore them. You can find those who meditate with energy networks. Of course, Buddhist monks are most excellent with this. Or you may sit with your friends and create an energy network between you and feel that. If you sit with your friends daily creating a network of love, which you can either keep between you or release out as a love portal floating, it will find its way to an appropriate home to attach to. If you practice with your friends, you will find your skills will develop. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. And, 
another way of doing it is, as we have told you, talk with the trees, go into nature, talk with the trees. They are a living grid of energy and communication on your planet. They are the great grandfathers and grandmothers. They are guardians of your planet. As you connect with trees, then you are learning many secrets about grids and networks, as well as energy coming into your planet and energy rising up and through nature and how the animals who live in the forests are connected to the tree energies. We encourage you, we encourage you to do this. One way is to go into the forest and sit either on a picnic blanket or a bench or in a limb of a tree. Just sit with your eyes relaxed. Look first at the length of all the trees that you can comfortably watch without strain which ones go straight up and which have branches low down, which ones are fat and wide and which ones are slender. Look at the trees and the bark textures and look at the root structures on the ground, understanding their roots intermingle with each other. And many animals live in those roots, and those roots are connected to all the plant life and the soil that has existed in this place for many millions of years. There's great ancient history that these roots are tapped into. And as the roots grow deeper, some are fat and eventually they become little hair roots as the trees are ever growing deeper and deeper into the soil, into the ancient history that from once they were born. And then you bring your awareness up to the canopy of the trees, the branches, knowing there are many animals living there that may be hidden from your eyes. So you open your ears and your senses, feel the breeze on your skin and the air, especially if there's moisture or dry on your skin. And then become aware of the entire interconnected community in the canopies and how the branches go and how the branches weave with each other from one tree to another and the little chipmunks and the squirrels and a woodpecker is poking in a tree so you know there are many bugs in there. Become aware of all of this. This is the first stage towards becoming aware of the mandala, the network of energy that is born from the trees. And as the trees are guardians of your planet, their network is a powerful one. It has many shadings and offshoots. It changes ebbs and flows. So this is a wonderful network to connect with and be one with. You may find as you practice this, the day comes when you look and everything is shifting a little bit because you are not quite 100% in this frequency of reality at this moment. Or you may see it looks like veils parting and beings from other dimensions step forward and work with you because you are becoming attuned to this most ancient language. 
So you are able to see subtleties and connect with them. What is a mandala or a network but a subtle frequency, but powerful. So this is an excellent way for you to learn to connect with networks. You need to go from your physical linear time mentality to a more relaxed, spacious state. And as your trees are also three-dimensional, but they are also multiversal, they are a very comfortable resource for you to help with this transition. Is this useful for you? Yes, it is. Thank you very much. Now, as you work with becoming one with tree energy, then we encourage you to use your imagination and say, I am with the trees now at this time in this place and feel that frequency and then say trees i would like to feel how i'm with you but a thousand years ago in this time and place how do we feel and sit quietly and receive what the trees have to share with you what animals were around and how it looked the hills and valleys would be different and the ground level and the plants would be different. You may play with this. You may say now, trees, let's imagine a hundred years in the future, 200, a thousand years in the future when earth is harmonic. How will this be? And sit quietly, resonate with the trees and see what they have to show you. This is playing with time as we would like you to. And as you see the beautiful images that were in the past and are in the future, feel welcome to bring this energy to now. And the trees will thank you as you help them become filled with the past and the future energy. It will help them counter affect the pollutions and the anxieties that the humans have and the constant noises of your machines as you are bringing ancient and future times of love and peace and enhanced being to them. Then they put that in their grid, their mandala, and you are helping them to power their energy field as they are guardians of earth it helps the planet to raise its frequency just imagine your entire planet's frequency raising because you were courageous enough to sit alone with trees and all would be appreciative this would be very nice, would it not? Yes, 